my name is Danielle DeLong and I started here at Gordon Conwell in the fall of 2018. For me, the process in joining the GCTS uh, community was one where I started in being a little curious as to what it was gonna be like. I was gonna be living down the hill in the apartments. I wasn't sure if it was gonna take extra intentional effort for me to get to know the students up the hill, but came on campus during orientation week and, week and realized that I had nothing to worry about. Everyone was so caring, so friendly. Um, and within the first two weeks of coming on campus, I can honestly say I had a, a more thorough breadth and depth of a community experience here at Gordon-Conwell than I had within the last two or three years of my life. So one of my favorite examples of experiencing more meaningful, intentional community here at Gordon-Conwell happened recently for me. Two fellow seminarians, um, a married couple living in the apartment buildings, invited myself and a couple other seminarians over for dinner, wanting to share their traditional meal experience. And didn't have high expectations necessarily, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but walked in and was like hit by this ambiance of food and such a warm environment of just a couple people gathered together and being able to hear their experiences, the ways that God is working in their life, sharing a meal, sharing testimonies and how God is using each of us and has then brought us to this small campus right now um, to be able to learn together at the same point in time to then be able to go back out was just amazing. I was blown away by it and just walked away feeling so blessed. It was so good. So I am a third year MAKO student in the counseling program and I think what's so unique about seminary is you have people in their 20s, 30s, you know, 40s plus, but there are people here in all different types of life stages. There are single people, there are newly married people, and there's, you know, married couples with, with families too. And so I love that there's such a mix of um, different seasons of life here, you know, that are represented. Um, so I really, really am grateful for that. It's been really fun to get to explore this area too. My husband and I love being outdoors and so we've really tried to take advantage of the area as much as possible. We really like Rockport a lot, walking around there. We also last summer discovered um, Coolidge Reservation. It's beautiful, it's like a mile walk out um, to this gorgeous ocean lawn overlooking the water. Um, that's really beautiful. Spending time either walking or running in Chewbacca Woods, I think that's just a place that I frequent and it's just, you know, down, you can access it from campus. We love grabbing a bite to eat in Beverly. Um, a and B Burger is one of our favorites. We've loved, yeah, getting to know the area and, and trying to, you know, enjoy what the North Shore has to offer. Hi, my name's Sue Kim. I'm a third year MDiv student. Uh, my wife Christina and I have been married for 14 years now and we have five children. Um, the value of community life on campus, there's something about sharing an experience together and laughing together versus experiencing things separately and then trying to debrief those things because we don't experience things the same way. And so community life at Gordon Conwell really is as we discuss the inexhaustible, ineffable God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Um, we experience those lectures, we experience that humor, we experience that, that questioning, we experience that puzzling and perplexing in real time. Another thing that's been valuable is um, my family gets to spend time here, we get to walk around the grounds, we get to go to the playgrounds here. Um, they meet other people who are called to ministry, so they get to interact with men and women of God. Um, it's just a lot of fun to be here with the family and it's a very safe environment and so that we have found as a family incredibly valuable. Another um, time where the community was so valuable was when our fifth child, Timothy, was born. He was born in January of our second semester here. Um, and when he, after he was born, the community rallied around us. They brought us meals. They came and prayed for us. They, prayed, they laid hands on my son and prayed for him. They supported my wife. Um, my wife was taking a class at the time, and the professor said, bring the child along to class. And, um, Timothy was in attendance at a seminary class at six days old, seven days old, whatever one it might have been. And 
this is where the community really rallies around you and you feel that support and so seminary is difficult, seminary is challenging but with the people around you it increases the learning but also just increases the community and the, the relationships that you have.